Good morning, everyone. So we're going to do morning breath right now. So we're not going to do anything sitting down or laying down. I'm going to show you how to use your breath in the morning to give you some energy, but nice balanced energy, not the energy that you get after having a whole bunch of cups of coffee. It's nice balanced energy. So I invite you to let's go ahead and, and stand up and I'm going to do this with no music, no music in the background, no tones, just the sound of my voice. So let's just go ahead and stand up. And before we do any movement, let's just ground to this present moment. Feeling your feet on the floor, closing or lowering your eyelids. Rocking your feet back and forth. Side to side. If you want, you can open your eyes for this part, but shake out anything that might have happened prior to this moment. Letting it all go. Just releasing any kind of pressure that you might have carried into this moment. You could shake the weight of the world off your shoulders. You can release what happened in the past. And as you're shaking, you could gently lift your heels off the ground. But keep a part of your feet on the ground, grounding again to Mother Earth, to this moment. They say that our issues are in our tissues. Nikki Meyer said that from 12-step yoga. And I truly believe that we keep the stress in our tissues. So here's a way that we can just release all that stress by shaking, letting it go. Shake those is issues out of our tissues. Great job, everyone. Hopefully you're in a spot where no one's asking you, why are you shaking? And even if you're not, it's okay. This is taking care of you. We tend to look silly at other times. I don't think I look silly when I do this, but some people feel they do. It's okay. Let's add our voice, taking a nice breath in. Breath out with a roar. <laughs> Gently reminding us to use voice, to use our voice to use our voice in our life. And just slowly come to stillness. You can close or lower your eyelids again. Noticing if there's any difference in how you feel. Maybe recognizing that you were able to release some stress that you were carrying. And go ahead and open your eyes. So it's really good to just shake in the morning. Uh, maybe we woke up with some whatever energy from our, our dreams, from not getting enough sleep, from whatever it is. Um, a lot of women during certain points of their life, menopause, you know, they have really tough night's sleep. So waking up with all of that feeling like, oh, I have to go on with my day. This is a way of kind of shaking all that off, going, okay, 
that was last night. And now today's here's a beautiful day. So kind of shaking all of that off. So another practice that we use our breath to say hello or good morning or just morning. It doesn't have to, you don't have to say good morning. It could just be morning. We're here in the morning. It is called ha breath. So there's a number of different variations of doing ha breath, and I'm going to show you two this morning. And if you're in a place that you can't, um, you can't say it really, really loud, then you can, um, you could just say it. I could say it loud for you, or you could go ha as loud as you possibly can. But if you're in a place that you can go ha really loud. I recommend doing that for a couple of reasons. Hot breath is a great way to release stuff that's inside of you. Um, it's also a really good energizer. It's a great way to wake ourselves up. It's a great way to use this breath after lunch if you're feeling a little sluggish after your, your lunch. Whatever way that you want to use it. But for me, it's a great way to release all that stuff that's going on inside of me because you know, I had a little bit of problems lagging on this morning. So doing a hot breath really loud right now would be so beneficial. <laughs> so I'm going to share the hot breath with you. I like the the one that makes me feel like I have a lot of power, a lot of like um, control. So it's where you breathe in as you bring your hands up and breathe out, bringing your hands, allowing your hands just to come right down closing your hands together. And this is where you go, ha! But try to make that ha from your belly. Ha! From your belly. And not just from here. Again, this is where we learn to, um, the more breath practices we, we do, the more that we get our breath out from here to here. And I'm still... I've been doing it for a little while now, and I'm still working on making sure my breath doesn't come from here, it comes from my belly. So let's synchronize our breath together, taking a nice breath in, breath out with a sigh, <sighs> breathing in. Allowing your arms to go down by your side, closing or lowering your eyelids, and just notice how your body feels. Notice if you feel a little lighter, a little bit more energized. And now open your eyes. So I'm always reluctant to say smile at some point because I feel, especially women have always been told, well, not always, but a lot of times I've been told, you'd look so much prettier if you smiled. And it's always been kind of a, uh, it made me feel uneasy when somebody would say that to me. So I always encourage people to smile if that makes you feel better. Um, because it's about taking care of you. It's not about appearances. It's not about, you know, looking prettier. It's about feeling better for you. So if it feels better, smile, because we all face some challenges in the morning, rushing to work, coffee spilling, going to daycare, dropping your children off, um, so many different things. So if you can just laugh it through, that would be perfect. And um, I have to say thank you to Nicole, who helped me as I was trying to figure out how to make this happen this morning. And it is late, but at least we got it to you this morning. So thanks, Nicole, for helping me through my morning as we smile now. So the hot breath is a great way as a releaser. It's also a great way to energize. 
The next one, and if you notice, I got Snoopy back there. Snoopy's <laughs> hanging out with us on my um, hair place because I don't do makeup anymore, but I have my <laughs> hair station where I uh, blow dry my hair and take care of my hair in the morning. So the other ha breath I want to show you is where we're going to tap two parts of our body in fairly quickly. And there's reasons that this helps our body if we tap um, two parts of our body fairly quickly together. So we're going to tap the base of our neck right here. And then we're going to tap the top part of our leg right above our knee, right here. And that's when we're going to do ha when we tap there. So we're going to go, you know, a little like we're trying to tap close together. So almost like we're tapping at the same time. So again, let's synchronize our breath by taking a nice breath in. Breath out with a sigh. <sighs> Breathing in. Ha! 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 Two more times. Close or lower your eyelids. Once again, noticing how your body is. And you can open your eyes, raise your eyelids. A lot of these practices, the point is to get us out of our head and into our body. For a lot of people with trauma histories, um, it's hard for us to get inside our bodies because of past experiences. So the more that we work on practices that get into our bodies and out of our heads helps us along the healing process. Um, I'm a big a supporter of not necessarily talking about the past experiences. Um, that's not what I want to do. Other people may want to do that. I don't want to do that. I want to go along my healing journey. And that means um, facing things in a different way, responding to things in a different way. And that does mean healing. So I don't respond in ways that are... Um, the way that I used to, um, the way that I used to, and that's the way I survived for a long time. So no, no blame, shame, none of that. So the way I responded yesterday is not necessarily the way I want to respond today. So those are two ha breaths. They're really good, like I said, of releasing things, um, allowing us to tap into our vagal nerve, um, activate our vagal nerve, uh, start to calm um, our nervous system down. I know for me, I have yelled at somebody and I felt bad about it afterwards, but it was a release. So here's a controlled way to do that without having the consequences of yelling at another human being and feeling horrible about it afterwards. So another practice, I want to share with you is called the 4462. I talk about this if you've ever heard any of my classes as one of the, my lifelines during the pandemic and afterwards or we're still during the pandemic. Um, and it helps me with strong emotions so I don't carry them to the next moment. So you're going to stand with your feet shoulder width apart. We're going to breathe in for the count of four. Hold for the count of four, where our hands are up here. Breathe out for the count of six, and then pause or hold for two, like with our palms facing up a little bit below our belly button. And if you can, try to do this where your wrists are kind of bent, so we're getting some movement in our wrists, some um, allowing our wrists to to really feel um, some movement and rotation because a lot of times we spend a great deal of time on the computer. We don't get enough movement with our wrist. 
and also activates other healing things that I won't get into. If this does not work for you, you could breathe in for the count of four, hold for the count of four, breathe out for the count of six, and pause for two. If that doesn't work for you, just do the breath. You don't have to do the movement. You can do the movement. It's about clearing these channels, our wisdom, our compassion, in our energy center, or our courage center. Um, clearing, moving energy, a whole bunch of different things. So again, whenever I share practices, do what feels right for you. It's about taking care of you and no one else can make that decision for you. Stand with your feet shoulder width apart. I'm going to stand in a more advanced pose. Start with your palms facing up a little bit below your belly button. And before we add movement, I always synchronize our breath. Take a nice breath in. Breath out with a sigh. <sighs> Breathing in. Two, three, four. Hold the breath. Two, three, four, breathing out. Two, three, four, five, six, pause. Two, breathing in. And as I'm breathing in, I'm just turning my hands. Hold the breath. And trying to keep your arms straight but not tight. Breathing out. And I'm bringing my hands together because it helps me with my shoulders. Pause, chill. Breathing in. Hold the breath. Breathing out. Pause two. Breathing in. Hold the breath. Breathing out. Pause two, two more times. Breathing in, two, three, four, hold the breath, two, three, four, breathing out, two, three, four, five, six, pause, two. Breathing in, two, three, four, hold the breath, two, three, four, breathing out, again? two, three, four, five, six, pause. Sorry, I'm two. still not sure. And just allow your arms to go down by your side. Close or lower your eyelids again. <clears throat> and just once again, notice how your body feels. Notice the quality of your thoughts. And go ahead and open your eyes. So the last practice I'm going to share is just some arm circles. And the arm circles are going to just help us get us ready for today. So before we go into the arm circles, I invite you just to put your hands on your heart. You can close your eyes if you want. And you could just say, hello, hearts. Morning, hearts. Welcome to this new day. 
heart. I just want to keep my heart open, keep you open, allow love and compassion and kindness to come into my heart, to come in from my heart to others. You can open your eyes. Release your hands from your heart. And what we're going to do is we're going to fill up our heart with love and kindness, patience, whatever you need today. If you need some courage for today, because today is going to be an especially difficult day. If you need some more understanding for some of the people or experiences or whatever you're going to um, face today. Whatever it is you need more of today, I invite you to gather all of that up as we use our breath and some movement. So we're just going to breathe in as we gather all of that up. And we're going to imagine that we spread it from the top of our head all the way to the tips of our toes, filling every fiber of our being. You remember we started this practice by shaking our issues and our tissues. We're getting it out well, now we're filling up all those spots with, with whatever we want today. So before we add movement, I always synchronize breath. So take a nice breath in, breath out with a sigh. <sighs> Breathing in all of whatever we want today. Breathing out, spreading it from the top of our head to the tips of our toes. Breathing in whatever we need more of today. Breathing out. Breathing one. Breathing out. Breathing in. Two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. Two more times. Breathing in. Two, three, four. And out, two, three, four. Breathing, gathering love, kindness, compassion, patience. And as you breathe out, bring all that into your body, into your heart. Closing or lowering our eyelids, bringing all of that into our body. into our heart, releasing your arms down by your side, keeping your eyes closed. Noticing how your body feels. You can keep your eyes closed if you want, or you can open them. I'm just gonna read something that I really like. And since we talked a little bit about our heart in love, love is in the being. And this is from Mark Nepo, the book of awakening. Love is in the being. The center I once glimpsed is all around me, a landscape I now live in. And I will not pretend anymore. If those I love can't recognize me with my soul out in the open, I will no longer retreat and show what is familiar. You do not have to do anything to be loved. You do not have to perform or achieve or earn a merit badge or be witness doing good. It has taken me almost half a century to learn and believe this. It is my work to this day. For our messages to the contrary are deep. Growing up, I heard my father say a thousand times, don't tell me how hard you try, just show me with your accomplishments. But my life has showed me that the opposite is true. In my heart, where the spirit of the world really comes alive, it doesn't matter what I accomplish. 
The only thing that matters is how deeply I try. For out of this trying comes sincerity and love. This has led me to another realization of hurt. Being who we are does not let others down. For much of my adult life, I've heard the message, you must consider others, offered as a caution against following your heart because it might upset others. Certainly true compassion begins with the consideration of others, but the displeasure of others is no reason to muffle your love. You do not have to do anything to be loved, and being who you are does not let others down. This needs to be repeated and often. Simply be who you are and love what is before you. And if you have your eyes closed, I invite you to go ahead and open them. Let's take a nice breath in. Breath out with a sigh. <sighs> Another breath in. Breath out with a sigh. <sighs> I want to thank you so much for your patience this morning. I want to thank Nicole, like I said before. There's a lot of people behind the scenes that support us in so many different ways to help us get these videos to you. So I hope that you enjoyed it. Thanks, Nicole. Thank you, everyone, for coming for Morning Breath. And I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you, everyone. Bye-bye.